So this vehicle is a Moreland. It's a truck that's over 100 years old. It's a 2.5 ton truck. And basically what I'm going to build is a camper to replace the Dragon Wagon that is more family friendly. So I'm basically putting modern axles underneath this vehicle. And the following video showcases the removal of the original Moreland front axle and replacing it with an F550 axle. But I'm not replacing it yet. I'm just simply setting it in place by using my tow truck and another vehicle I have called a Unimog, a Freightliner Unimog that has a front loader on it. Please enjoy the video. Yeah, we're gonna get this old girl turned on. Mmm, hack fad, 12 valve, goodness, that's what I'm talking about. So this vehicle is a 1964 C60 with a 12 valve Cummins swap and an Allison AT545 transmission. I kind of adopted this vehicle off the previous owner, but it was manufactured by two brilliant school bus mechanics at the town of Marana here in Arizona. They basically redesigned the entire drivetrain with new axles, engine, and transmission, but the city wouldn't allow them or the town wouldn't allow them to drive it because it was too heavily modified. I purchased it off the Get previous owner who used it up. for almost a decade, transport military trucks from El Paso to Arizona. It's been an awesome truck that I use for everything around my property. Aired up, ready to hook up. So the wrecker on the back of this truck is driven by a PTO shaft off of a chain. It's all mechanical. It's kind of like an old school mechanical like fair ride. There's no hydraulics of any sort. So I have to lift up the front of this truck to take the axle out. Let's lift her up in the air. It's time. Thing's cool. It still had grease in there. I mean, I've pulled leaf springs out modern vehicles that aren't nice as this, and that's because it's got the grease channel built into the bolt. It's tight.
have enough room to move this thing out. Hover truck engaged. Yeah. Let's climb up into this uh, thing. Don't mind the uh, sketch starter here. She's a good runner. Mm. Ding ding, 1.5 tons. Heck yeah, man. Gonna throw this thing under there. Let's do it. Almost in there. All done. And with the Unimog shutting down, that concludes the end of this video. Be sure to like and subscribe because I'm going to showcase how I actually install this axle and I'm going to continue the build of the Moreland. Thanks for coming. Bye, Unimog. Night-night.